Here we have a thought that why cleaning takes a very important role in pharmaceuticals. Is poor cleaning acceptable in pharmaceuticals? Friends, I am Vimesh Mishri and today we will discuss on cleaning and types of cleaning in pharmaceuticals. There are many types of cleaning take place in pharmaceuticals such as area cleaning, glassware cleaning, garment cleaning, equipment cleaning, etc. Different pharmaceuticals are manufacturing different products and because of different products, their cleaning process is also different. Like tablet capsule manufacturers, they follow one standard cleaning process. Maybe it is not followed by ointment cream manufacturers, liquid lotion manufacturers, injectable, ophthalmic, parental uh, uh, manufacturers. They follow the standard, consistent, compatible, effective and efficient cleaning process. In pharmaceuticals, Equipment, instrument and machineries also play a vital role for manufacturing of different products and different dosages. But cleaning of this equipment, instrument and machineries are challenging for them. So today we are going to learn, we are going to discuss on equipment cleaning and types of equipment cleaning. There are many types of equipment cleaning process and procedures in pharmaceuticals but Two types of cleaning process or procedures are widely used for equipment and they are type A and type B. So what is type A and what is type B? When and when this type A and type B cleaning to be performed or to be done? So type A cleaning. Type A cleaning is performed for two different batches of a product. Look. Listen and understand this sentence very carefully. Here I am mentioning, referring two batches of a product. So here product is one, but there are two batches. It has two batches. This cleaning is also called micro cleaning. And for type A or micro cleaning, cleaning validation is not required because there is no chance for cross contamination. We take an example to understand it properly. Think. There is a product called paracetamol tablets and we have to take two batches of paracetamol tablets in sequence or in order. Here active material is paracetamol with three excipients. Now we have taken batch number one of paracetamol tablets with active plus three excipients followed by standard process. Now we are going to take batch number two of paracetamol tablets with same active, with same three excipients and with same standard process. Here, after we have performed type A or minor cleaning after batch number one and after cleaning there are still active and excipients present in the equipment. Now we are taking or we have taken batch number 2 of paracetamol tablets in the same equipment. So what happens here? Traces of active and excipients from batch number 1 are carried forwarded in the batch number 2. Can traces of active and excipients from batch number 1 contaminate batch number 2? Let's see the answer. There are traces of active and excipients in the equipment where same active and excipients are added for batch number 2. So this is not cross contamination. Cross contamination is always done with two different materials, two different active, two different excipients, not with the same materials or same actives. Here, paras basis of paracetamol is mixed with paracetamol and excipients are mixed with same excipients. So this is not cross, cross contamination. This cross contamination is not adversely affect the product. Neither produce the impurity nor degrade the product. So, when two batches of a product are manufactured in sequence or in order, type A or minor cleaning to be performed or to be done. And there are and there is no need to send rich samples to QC department for testing of cases of previous batch or previous product. Because in this case, if we send ring samples to QC department for testing of cases of previous product, so after testing, 
we just find out total purity of paracetamol not separated and segregated like traces of paracetamol of previous batch and purity of paracetamol of next batch we just get total purity of paracetamol all manufacturers have the standard cleaning process for type A or minor cleaning and this cleaning is always a time and cost saving process type A cleaning should be done with the help of vacuum cleaner lint free cloth water is not mandated for it so this is the definition of type A cleaning or minor cleaning now type B cleaning Type B cleaning takes place between two different products, two different active, two different excipients, or two different process. Here we understood type A, the concept of type A and type B cleaning. So we take direct and straightforward example of type B cleaning. Suppose two different products are there in order or in sequence for manufacturing and production: moxidroxazine eye drops and prednisolone eye drops. First, moxidroxazine eye drops and then prednisolone eye drops were manufactured followed by the minor cleaning. And because of type A or minor cleaning, traces of moxidroxazine excipients are there in much quantity and they are going to mix in the next batch or in the next product. So, here two different materials, two different excipients are being mixed. Which is the cause of cross contamination is also called in cross contamination, and because of cross contamination, it will impact on product quality, adverse effect on purity and safety. Maybe produce impurity, which is the reason for product degradation. So all these factors will have direct impact on product quality, purity, safety, or maybe on patients' health. So here, type A cleaning is considered as poor cleaning, which is not compatible with two different products. And therefore, we have to do proper and perfect cleaning when two different products are manufactured in order. And this cleaning is called type B cleaning. In type B cleaning, we have to use detergent like people solution. Also need to use disinfectant like IPA along with purified water and WFI water for removing traces of previous product. Traces of previous product is acceptable if it is in control and would be predetermined acceptance criteria. Here, criteria is determined and defined by cleaning validation only. After type B cleaning, Ring sample sends to QC department for testing of basis of previous product. So, these are the types of equipment cleaning, type A and type B, which take significant role in pharmaceuticals. And poor cleaning is no longer acceptable in pharmaceuticals. Friends, thank you for watching this video and we will meet again with new topic of pharma. Thank you.